He damn near smoked you. You see it on twerk. It's your boy James. Trust the process. I want to just talk about protecting your peace and sometimes it's not easy to protect your peace sometimes we have to go through those hard times in order to appreciate the good times Stop being dirty. it's your boy jims with the stop being dirty stop eating dirty trust the process clean up you know, got the babies playing. Uh, you know, yeah, you make those songs hype. Like I've, I've been doing like competition with my kids, like, like with each other, and I'm like in a sense, like who wants to use the potty first? You know, to get them to go to the potty. Who wants to go to bed first? Like me, me, me. Who wants to um? Who wants to clean up first? You know what I mean? And it's like, I, I guess it's like a reverse psychology thing because it's all things that kids don't aren't really that hip hip for. You know, like who wants to go to bed first? Like really? But when I'm making a little game. It works. So right now they just clean, seen and clean up. Clean. So surf. Oh my god, that was too loud. Okay, I'm sorry. So Sue Surf and Calico is going down today. Um, I was gonna fall back on you know. I was gonna wait to like do any more blogs. I feel like I said enough about the card and things like that. I was supposed to link up with Whites earlier in the week so I could give like let him do you know his his ideas on it, but we weren't able to do that. You know, family men, working men, it's, it's hard to get up at, you know as much as we wish we can. Um, but last night, man, I'm watching the face off and I'm like, yo, I caught it like halfway through, so I didn't want to talk completely about it, even though what I'm talking about now is the part that I did see twice, but. I wanted to wait till like, you know, people be like just editing it, you know, and then putting it back out, you know, the next day on YouTube. So that's what happened. And um, so I'm watching the face off, man. And it was a great face off. Like, just imagine if that face off was like this face to face, like and not with Jay Black in the middle. Like this, that was like this is where that conference style face off really played against uh uh you know what you can actually get from the face off because like if they were face to face looking at each other while this was happening it would have just been that much more intense so basically you know they're going back and forth you know talking about like well it starts over calico saying you know how much money he makes and you know he's a wizard and you know like he's he's playing chess with this shit and a lot of times like 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 calico really does sound like a mad scientist but at the same time he do be on his scientist shit though he sounds mad like you know a lot of things he says like it does come a little true man like you know what i'm saying like calico definitely like he definitely speaks he definitely speaks his realities into existence a lot of the times i will credit him for that you know what i'm saying i don't think he's that delusional how people try to make him seem i also think a lot of arguments towards him are accurate as well but he's sitting there doing normal calico shit like you know because sue surf is basically like yo like Calico's one of us in a sense of like he's a name, but he's not a superstar like a Hitman, a Sue Surf, a Lux, and shit like that. So Calico's like, yo, but you, you know, well he mentions Hitman, Sue Surf, and Tay Rock is what Surf said, and then and then Calico's like, yo, but I beat all y'all, so that makes no sense. So, so now, even though I think him and Tay Rock is debatable, I, I do have Calico beat a Hitman, I do have Calico beat a Surf, and then him and Tay Rock's debatable, which means debatable. Maybe you can say Calico won. So still, let's say he did beat all of them. So that's a great rebuttal. Like, yo, what you mean, Tay Rock, Hitman, and Surf? I beat all y'all. But then Surf's rebuttal game, this whole face-off is what really killed Calico, man. Because Surf is like, yeah, you, if that was the case, even if that's the case, you're still not as big of big as this. And it's true. I don't think Calico's as big as Surf. I don't think Calico's as big as him, man. I don't think Calico's as big as Rock in the sense of, like, Rock was the face of battle rap for a decade. Has Calico been that? Hitman Holla is like one of the most named, known people, period, in Battle Rap. Outside of Battle Rap. You can't say the same outside of Battle Rap. You can't say the same for Calico. And as far as Surf goes, I mean, it, Surf is just Surf. He's a, you know, at the end of the day, even though Surf did really well last time we seen him, let's not forget, like, Sue Surf was, like, known for choking, invented saying Jersey off of choking. So, Surf, Surf is definitely, his argument makes it more fucked up because, you know, Calico has way more clean performances than Surf, but Surf still kind of gets put over Calico. So, that is the truth. Like, that is the truth. Like, yo, you're, you're like, the worst of all of the best kind of thing like so that was kind of getting to calico but they were doing the back and forth debating and then uh I, overall i think that was a dope dialogue part but when the when it really went left well first well before it went left left first time it went the first time it went left calico said yo you why you keep mentioning 
all these other dudes like yo like stop d riding and surf just because whatever has surf has something in his hand and like throws like a a paper ball like look like a straw like you know when you ball up the straw and then threw it at Calico and like he was like you watch that D sucking word watch that D sucking word watch that D sucking word watch that D. he kept saying that over and over so that was a little part where it was cool like you know Surf definitely held his own you know and then like you know and I think Calico did too because like you tell me watch my mouth for something I already said you know what I'm saying that's how I, he didn't say that but that's how I be seeing things and people like say it again like say it again like what do you mean say it again I said it already um so um but where it really, really, really went left is when Calico mentioned, you know, they, they were basically talking about, like, cars and, like, you know, uh, you know, Sue Surf's like, oh, you get all this money, but I seen you on Instagram live, like, your car ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even got tents on it, like, nobody worrying about who's in the car, you ain't got a, like, you ain't no superstar, that's what he basically, that's what he was trying to say, like, you ain't no superstar who could just, you know, you, you could just pull up on the corner and everyone could just look at, in your car, like, it ain't, oh, it's just Calico. Daddy, and, um... You found it? Yeah. Okay. This is my blippy. Is it blippy? My blippy. Hold on, watch your fingers. Here. And then, and then Calico was like, um... Calico, and then it went left when Calico was like, yo, but I don't have to be tinted, but I understand why you're saying that. He said, I don't got to ride in a Porsche, something, something like this about, like, you know, this is Detroit, this is how we roll down, but I understand why you need to ride a tinted, because you come from a city where they're trying to kill you in your hometown. Like, they try to kill you where you from. And right there was like, first of all, that's a huge thing to say. Just like when T-Rex really be getting so tight about the chain snatching. Yo, bro, like T-Rex gonna die that day being held at gunpoint for that for that chain. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a tough situation to you know what I'm saying? Like I I even myself in a in a because it, it don't compare to being at gunpoint or literally getting shot like the two situations I just mentioned, but you know what I'm saying? I came close to having a pop on someone who I actually, you know what I'm saying, and it's it, 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 and cool with. You know what I'm saying? Like only because like, you know, he mentioned something that I went through. And it was like in a in a conversation where we just like, you know what I'm saying? Like snapping on each other, this and this. And then that was brought up. I'm like, whoa, whoa, now we taking it somewhere else. Like, you want to take it there? Like, that's what you're trying to bring up. Like, you know, because we could do that right now. If that's, a, you know, so I, what I'm saying is some situations people go through, especially physical altercations, is um, it could go left. Because it, it, it's a soft spot. Soft spot. It's not like, oh, I'm super tough. He's super tough. No, it's a soft spot. Like, this man almost was killed before. They try to murder this dude. You know what I'm saying? So he's over there like, yo, Surf just went off after that. Like, it was it was a th body, right? Like, that was a third round. Surf game. He's like, yo, you couldn't say, like, if that would have happened to you, you would have died. You would you, you, you not, you wouldn't, you know, you can't do what I do on either side of the gun. Awesome, like, yo, I done used this gun and, and that gun had been used on me. What you been through? Talking about, without you, not, you ain't been through nothing. Talking about, yo, nobody even uses Greyhounds anymore to move weight. And you be talking about, you be moving pills down in Kentucky. No, you don't. You live in your dad's life. Your dad only did four years in jail. Yo. Yo. Like, he was like, like, he really meant that shit. Like, not to say it's true or not, but he meant that. That shit sounded good. Surf is like, yo, you ain't like, y'all believe in him? This guy been through nothing. You not a street guy. No one knows you for nothing, nowhere. And Surf could say something like this and not say it's true. But we see Surf is a rolling 60s crib gang, bang, gang member, gang banger. The, the, you know, allegedly let his gun off. Definitely let had guns get let off on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, in, in so many words, like, we can see he's, he's in the streets. Guaranteed 100%. This guy has gun charges, shot his gun, bench. This guy is in the streets. Documented. So when you're having that street talk with someone like that, he's gonna win that battle. He's gonna win that talk. And he, that talk was nice. I liked it. It got me hyped for this battle, bro. Like, I'm really adamant on saying Tay Rock and Twerk's gonna be the, the best battle of the night. But this now, like, seeing how serious Surf is taking this, how serious Calico is, I'm hyped. For this battle and you know once that yo this is gonna be great so you know i just want to do a quick blog you know the battles is like seven hours from now whatever the case may be so you know i don't want y'all getting too too tired of my face but i'll put this blog out now just because i was hype off the face off what do y'all think did y'all watch the face off or not 
Subscribe to the channel right in the comments. Uh, in the description box, you see where I get my CMOS from, my Instagram tag, Twitter, uh, all the merch and all that. And I appreciate y'all taking the time to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Hear me talk my shit in my um, stretched out thermal and, uh, you know, trying to clean up the kitchen. Got breakfast all around. And hey, man, you know, dad life. Suits all the followers and mothers out there. And you no, know, protect your peace. Trust the process. Stop being dirty.